AI in PM is one of our major service lines. So what is artificial intelligence? It's the simulation of human intelligence processes by machines, especially computer systems. And the focus is, is mainly on the learning, reasoning and self-correction -correct aspects of artificial intelligence. So what we found is that AI is starting to be increasingly um, adopted in industry. There's some statistics here from Gartner showing um, that for 3,160 CIOs from 98 countries, 25% of those CIOs uh, are already piloting AI initiatives in their organisations. And then a further 21% uh, have medium to long term plans for AI. So there's a lot happening in this space and it's and it's increasing as a as we go forward. So um, we ha have classified um, the AI technology and project management using this two by two matrix at the top. Um, you can the top axis. You can see that's where we look at the level of human involvement in um, in AI and down the left hand side um, that's where we look at whether the the code itself is is hardwired into the system or the system is more adaptive and by by using this classification we're able to come up with sort of like these four areas for categorizing um, artificial intelligence those being streamlining automation insight and foresight and self directed and I'll explain a bit more about these areas on the next two slides. So streamlining is where um, AI is being used to improve an existing process um, through better integration and collaboration. And what we found is there are uh, over 300 project tools um, which fall into this space. Um, which help to streamline processes such as scheduling issues, portfolio management and resource management. And uh, the main uh, benefit that organisations are getting from these tools is efficiency. Um, efficiency in certain processes like um, how they manage their calendars, timesheets and so forth. And in this space, chatbots are being used increasingly to streamline their workflows. So for example, um, an approval uh, workflow is a good example of where streamlining is being used. Automation um, is where the computer replaces the human aspects of project delivery. So um, it's particularly where uh, uh, the tasks are simple and repetitive. And in this space, this is where um, bots generally are, are being used. And the examples here are, for example, uh, automatic issue creation, where a, a bot may um, read somebody's Slack message and then automatically generates um, uh, an issue um, in the um, issue management system. Um, these bots can also be used to um, check whether data is being input consistently, consistently in um, any um, in project tools um, and thereby um, improving the quality of data that's being collected. Another aspect of automation is performance. Um, they can provide a sort of background check on what people are doing on the project team and collect data um, about their productivity. That's quite a controversial aspect, but that's that's that can be done. So insight and foresight is the third area, and this is where Greyfly are doing uh, a lot of work. Um, and insight and foresight is where the computer is assimilating project data and providing actual insights and recommendations that can be used to predict outcomes and enhance decision making. Now, um, traditionally, um, this would have been done um, using expert systems um, back in the day. And uh, where the the um, where rules would have been hard coded into the application itself, um, but now we're moving more towards uh, machine learning techniques where um, statistical techniques are, are being used rather than you know programming what we expect the system to do and providing prediction that way. 
The self-directed category is where the computer is autonomous and it's actually making decisions for you as a project manager. Um, we haven't seen any current use cases of this in the project management domain. And the best example um, outside that domain would be a self-driving car um, or an autopilot. Um, but this is something that we can see happening in the future. And um, particularly um, if you can imagine that a robo PM um, whereby the, um, the system is basically doing everything that the project manager would typically do from an administrative perspective and their project manager can focus on the strategic aspects and decision-making um, more. This slide, thank you, Marcia. This, this slide is just talking about where possibly the application of AI in project management is going to proliferate in the short, medium and longer term. And these are very sweeping functions around project management and project management consulting in particular. So you can see on the left there that the, the, the types of areas to do with project management consulting are strategy, transformation, change management, um, assurance that we mentioned earlier, um, project delivery and project support. And, and it's our belief that, that the areas in green that you can see there are the, the, the areas that are most likely to be affected by AI in the short term. And the reason why we're saying that is because they are the areas that, that um, either use a lot of data in their everyday job or, or are more functionally based Whereas the areas in red, these are general statements, the areas in red tend to be more about interpretation and um, subjective um, input. So you think about, for example, a strategy piece. Yes, you have to write the strategy piece, but you're going through and you're getting uh, um, um, lots of soft interviews, lots, lots of interviews with people. You're, you're using your intellectual knowledge and applying that. And, and, and um, also um, within that type of space, um, you've got things like transformation and change management. So, so the softer side of project management, we believe is the space that over time AI will be applied to, and, and I'm not committing to any time, but we're already seeing, as, as Marcia mentioned with some of those products, that, that the project support and the project delivery side are the areas that are gonna get impacted the most. I, I, I think the question of timing is really interesting. Um, I believe that at the moment we're at the uh, beginning of a revolution, if that's the right phrase, around the application of AI and project management. Uh, um, you know, you only have to look at the amount of press being undertaken on this subject. You know, all of the major project professional bodies, APM, PMI, uh, BCS, um, are regularly publishing stories about the application of AI and project management. And that in its own right is fueling the speed of the application of AI to project management. So, 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 you know, this is a very general slide, but it's coming, guys, and it's coming at a rapid rate of knots. Uh, uh, um, is the conclusion. So.